And it is a meeting of two clubs who share the same dream, this each hoping to lift the National League playoff trophy come May. But so much can happen between now and then. Form going into the playoffs, we've seen over many years, Adam is a big factor. And Nick Hayes, goalkeeper on loan from Ipswich. He's done really well at Solihull as well. Sabara with a good ball. Benton with Campbell arriving in the box. There's a good run here from Sabara. If he can make it, he did, and he was only just wide. Fist it right across the face of goal. It was such a clever run by Sabara. Campbell can run on to pose Barnett more issues. The corner taken by Osborne and flicked on dangerously and in! It's Clark with the header! Great delivery in there by Osborne. He's been in really good form of late. And that's a good ball too. Campbell's making his way into the box. So he's Osborne. Campbell! Just couldn't apply the touch. Nice football though by Morse. Yeah, good play there. Stead. Kabamba. He just couldn't keep the header down. It's a good cross, though. Yeah, half a chance at best for Nicky Kabamba there. Nice words from Dean Brennan about Stead, I thought, before the game, was saying how infectious he is. Causes havoc. Certainly somebody in good form. Collins with the pass. There is Stead. Hartigan with the ball forward. Hall Johnson kept it in. Can they do from this set piece? Osborne did just about enough there. Collins. Thompson. It's Collins again. Spotted the movement from Kabamba. He's brought it down brilliantly. Fantastic goal. That's how good he's been this season. To attempt that, that shows you how confident he is. And the B's top scorer has scored a fabulous goal there. Brought down so well and then still had so much to do. But did it superbly. 1-1. Well, this is a goal that you will see at the very, very highest level. He's onside and he just picks up a brilliant position. The control and then the volley is superb. I can't tell you how good that technique is there. Just to shrug the challenge as well. Whipped him with a lot of pace and turned in at the back post. And they've turned this around, the Bees. It's one of the centre halves. Adam Thompson's got the goal. What a delivery it was, though, to that back post. Some turn around this. Kabamba with the first for Barnett. Thompson with the second. And just ahead of half time, Barnett now lead. Funny old game, isn't it, football? The majority of this first half, you'll be criticising Barnett, but you give full credit to them. They are at their own downfall at the start of this game with a set play. You can't give that amount of time and space at the far post for a player of Adam Thompson's experience, Adam Thompson's quality, to have an easy tap-in. Certainly one from the training ground to the far post. And Gorman then to take the free kick. Thompson, who scored from that corner right at the end of the first half, is one of those in there. And it was Stead. He got his head to it, but just couldn't get it on target. Benton. Campbell bent one and forces the save from Laurie Walker. Osborne. Oh, nicely done by Osborne. The shot's on for him here. Pushed away by Walker and Campbell was there. Brilliant double save. Fantastic goalkeeping there by Walker. I think the flag was already up, but he wasn't to know that. And that is outstanding from the B's goalkeeper. Yeah, great double save from him, as you mentioned. I've been unaware. Laurie Walker, you're right to mention that side of the goal. He could have gone to the goalkeeper's left, his right. Osborne again, 
and Campbell might reach it, just denied. It was Adam Thompson, whose goal is the difference between the sides, who slid in there. Campbell, Maycock had made the run. And brave from Walker. Massive that would be if they could hold on to that scoreline. Warburton with the chance to cross, decides not to, and has a go and scores! Tremendous finish from the man who's not too long on the pitch. Picked out that bottom corner and squeezed it in. Wonderful from Warburton, and it's all square.